Hi all, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Matt Jones from Bedford Valentin and Detailing.com and uh, I'm going to pose a question to you all and you, uh, to anyone who's buying a car new or used regarding paint protection on their car. I urge everyone to ask a question to a professional detailer or valeter to just ask, just ask, because this is a really good example as to why you should. Um, the car in question has been treated to Gardex, which in some industry is looked down upon, but I've seen cars that have been protected with Gardex properly, and although it's potentially arguably not the best product on the market, it's actually not a bad product. Um, but the way it's put on can make it look bad. And this is exactly what's happened in this case. The car was treated about six months ago, um, slightly less than that. And there could be arguments to say that what has happened to the car since then is could be causing the product not to work properly or is a case of the damage that's on the clear coat now. But in essence, the customer paid £600 to have this coating put on. And quite frankly, there's more damage to his car than the £600 put on. So it's going to cost more than £600 to put his paintwork right and have a coating put on. The water behaviour on the vehicle when I first did it, and I saw the sticker on there to say that it had a Gardex protection, was suspect. But there were signs of coatings which... Uh, I recognise. However, the buffer trails all over the vehicle tells me that this car has been machine polished in a very poor manner and using a very aggressive compound with a rotary polisher. When you apply a ceramic coating or any paint protection to a vehicle, you have to prepare the paintwork properly. The prep work is a long-winded process and requires multiple stages with someone who knows exactly what they're doing. Personally, I worked in the industry for 15 odd years at dealerships and they haven't changed that much and I still have contacts that actually run dealerships. And they do get frustrated with the level of some of the employees which they are given to by the contract fleet services and that's really not to service the person that's asked to do the job because in reality a lot of them don't have the training or really the understanding it takes years to understand how to do this properly but essentially the person that's paying for that paint protection scheme should be receiving what they're paying for and in this case they most certainly are not now the coating has been put on because for one thing you can see all the high spots where they haven't taken the product off properly. Now, it could be said that the car has been machine polished after. And that's what's caused the damage to the clear coat and really the coating. But this isn't the case in this car. If the case was where it'd been machine polished after the coating was put on, then there would not be any coating marks left on the vehicle. They would have been machine polished off. The customer says he has had it touched. He hasn't actually realised too much of what's wrong with his car. But he has had value wiped off his vehicle with the state of it and he's paid for something he hasn't got. So what I urge anyone that's offered a paint protection scheme or even thinking of one that's coming from a dealer is that talk to a professional and a professional valet or detailer before you do. Now that's not to say that every single dealer puts the coating on incorrectly or can't put it on properly. But ask those questions to your valeter and detailer. See what they say. And then if you are with ammunition, you can go back to the dealer. And if you're happy with the information and what they're coming back with, with the dealer, then use theirs. It's absolutely fine. But as a consumer, you should be getting what you're paying for. And in this case, I really don't think they have. So I'm Matt Jones from Bedford Valeter and Detailing. Hope this has gone away to, to informing people and educating people on paint protection schemes uh, and hopefully we can get results from the supplier of this vehicle to the 
the customer who really um, shouldn't be having to pay for jobs like this and if he wants to get it back to it should be it's going to cost a whole lot of money so I'm Matt Jones from BadmintonDetail.com. If you want to see more videos like this or some how-tos or this kind of thing, then please do subscribe to the channel. Click that bell button so you get notifications on YouTube if you are watching on that format. So thanks again and hope to see you again soon.